After gaining access with a balloon guide catheter, advance an aspiration catheter such as the catalyst distal access catheter over the offset delivery assist catheter and guide wire to the site of occlusion. Position the catalyst distal access catheter just proximal to the occlusion. Remove the access offset delivery assist catheter, microcatheter, or other delivery catheter and guide wire to provide an open lumen for aspiration. Connect the aspiration tubing to the TUI borst or directly to the aspiration catheter. Inflate the balloon guide catheter. If the pump is not already on, set the vacuum gauge regulator to the desired level and turn on the pump. The pump will begin to pump down until it reaches the maximum value as stated in the instructions for use. Check to ensure the tubing clamp is in the open position to begin aspiration. When you see blood flowing through the aspiration tubing, slowly advance the catalyst distal access catheter to engage the clot. If blood stops flowing through the tubing, it may be a sign that the clot is occluding the aspiration catheter. Wait and watch the blood flow in the tubing for signs of clot ingestion. The blue clamp can be used to stop flow at any point during the procedure. The pump can remain on when the tubing clamp is closed. Perform a contrast run through the base catheter to confirm if revascularization has been achieved or another pass is necessary. Stryker offers physicians a comprehensive portfolio of fully compatible products designed to quickly remove clots in patients experiencing ischemic stroke.